me try to explain to you guys why I think most people have their issues with the emissions equipment. And I think it's because a lot of people use their trucks for just around town driving or just getting uh, getting some stuff at the store or just running errands, driving 10, 15 minutes away, shutting it off, coming home, and just doing that day by day. Uh, it doesn't allow the truck to go into regen. And what regen is is that the DPF on the exhaust heats up to over a thousand Fahrenheit and burns off a lot of those a lot of that emissions that gets built up in there over time because it's just a big filter and because they're not allowing that to be burnt the whole way through and the process to be completed well it just has to restart over and over again never get started and then eventually the emissions equipment fails and then they wonder why that happened so for me, in my scenario, even if I did have the stuff intact, I don't think I'd have a problem for a while because, or may never have a problem for the existence of the truck. And that is because, well, my drive is at least a half an hour every single time. So it, the truck always gets to warm up every single time and I never just drive it for about a few minutes or even 10 to 15 minutes. I always get it warmed up completely and then I shut it off and that's every single time I drive either one of the trucks. Oh no, this is holding things up for one while, man. This sucks. took my spot <laughs> so there you go just got you some airbag content for the channel airbag action so heading home now gonna gonna head to an appointment i actually didn't get to work out today or do any cardio today so i'm gonna hopefully get that in right now once we get back and then i'm gonna head home might do a thing or two and then hopefully there's enough time for this truck. I might actually do it before the last things I want to do because I do want to get to this. It's been something that I've been holding off for longer than I ever would have thought and I've had it for a while and you guys have seen it in the video before. So hopefully I can get to that today. So let's rush home. Oh my gosh, it's Greg A. Holy, holy, it's a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot. It's honestly been 10 years since I've heard Green Day on 99.3. alignment free wheel alignment green day with holiday their frontman billy joe armstrong's got another side project
All right, guys, in the middle of this cornfield right now, well, not in the middle, I'm right by the road, but I'm just doing a little update here because I just got um, a dentist teeth clean and it's been the, the six month cleaning, you know what I mean? And then I was only there for a little bit. Came out with no cavities, so it's all good. I'm on my bike right now. It's probably about four or five miles, not really sure. Still got the hardest part of the trip actually ahead of me. Doesn't look too bad from right here, but it goes straight up an entire mountain. And it's probably harder than those two over there. So it's actually gonna be quite an adventure. Still got a long way back, but I think we're gonna have time to what I wanna do with the Cummins. Either way, we got a lot of stuff left to do, so let's get going. Unfortunately, I'm out of water, so we better get back quick. I may have made the wrong turn, but I did make it here. And look at that view, man. You can see my freaking house from here. Well, guys, it's time. And <laughs> oh, is it time. Check it out. Finally get into this, guys. Check it out. It is a Cummins decal in white. I've always seen the trucks around here. I don't know if you guys live in an area. There's probably a lot of you guys that live in an area like I do where there's just a ton of guys driving pickup trucks, loud, obnoxious trucks, and all the Cummins that are really loud and either jacked up, lifted up, whatever you want to call it, they usually have one of these somewhere on the truck. And I always thought it looked really cool from day one whenever I figured out what the Cummins was and the engine, how great it is and everything. So this is actually a 14 by 14. I think it's a... Uh, I think that's the dimensions. I know it's a 14 wide, so I don't see how it'd be. That's that's a perfect square. So 14 wide, perfect Cummins decal, you know, because I'm going to be running those, you know, 26 by 14 someday. <laughs> so let's get this on the truck, and I will show you the steps on how to do it. If you guys are thinking about putting a decal on your truck, Cummins decal, whatever decal, let's do this. Put that in the bed. Okay, so in the bed here, I just got some cleaner solutions this one's mainly just water and then i got some painters tape microfiber some scissors energy drink of course and then i got the decal right there so i'm thinking about placing it right here on the left side i think that's probably the best place thought about the right as well but i think the left here would be better and as you can see it's very dirty so i'm gonna have to clean that up real quick there we go i just cleaned up the back window so that's what the dirty silverado one looks like this looks a lot cleaner. So I'm just gonna use this and hopefully get some of that dust off. It just it won't go away. Yeah, so I think I got most of the dust off using a, uh, a shop towel right here. And I just sprayed some more on and then used it. So that should have gotten most of it off. And now I got the decal right here. So there's a certain procedure you wanna follow here to get this thing on. First, I'm just gonna randomly place this sucker and then tape it off and then do some measurements and then make the adjustments as needed. Look at that, man. 14 wide was definitely the way to go. I was thinking that or a 12 wide, but this, this seems to be right. And I also put this tape right here down the middle, not really the middle, but kind of. So definitely get a tape all the way down there. This tape is really old, it kind of sucks, but that is as close as I can to actually getting it. The, the decal seems to be a little off because up here it doesn't seem as straight, but down here it does. So it's 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 going to be based off your judgment, but I don't think you could really tell once the product is on. So put that middle tape there and then you can remove the edges and then watch. So I'm going to remove this side to pull the decal back. It's very windy out. And cut half of this off. Use a credit card, which I actually forgot, but I got one now, guys. And just make sure there's no air pockets when you put this on. Looks like I got some, man. off the tape we'll carefully remove this piece and should leave the decal behind
here we go guys 14 wide Cummins decal is on and I mean it's uh, I wouldn't say it's perfect there is some error bubbles on it but I mean it's my first 